people should run away from anybody can die. Although they cannot be Kaba. Till nobody know when in Kaduna. Till nobody know when in Kano. Till nobody know when in the in, in uh, Daura. So they only want the local government of the president for him. So nobody can just bring a note. Even that's not how you go to Buhari to collect, to solicit for anything. He'll be looking at you. So he should rule well. I allow God to direct him. This guy is dangerous for disgrace, for everything. What you think? Then this very year, then again, we should be very careful again. The Oba of the Abode is on the voice. He have, he have his own body parts. Then Babangida has his own body parts. Then I want Oba, Oba, Oba um, the man in Abba put that too. Then Oba Sanjo, he has his own body parts. And they're going to put them first class, which will be washed out. Because five condolence letter is going to leave a part of the one of uh, uh, um, democracy. Another five will be signed before the end of November. And something terribly will still happen to Ngigi. And uh, Ngigi and uh, the information minister, Lai Mohamed, they are bad people too. What we need to do for the whole month of June and July is to turn God Psalm 100. And when you wake up in the morning, lick socks and pray. Lick honey and pray. Always use Psalm 1. Psalm 1. All the time. And when you want to go to bed, Isaiah 43. And for, for Tinumbu. For more prophecies and gospel news around the world, subscribe to 12 Star TV and turn on notifications. If care is not taken, before Falano died, Falano will rule Nigeria. But I could have even begged my brother to look for him to be what the chief judge of the Federation. It's not, it's a thing I wish, this one is not prophecy. I am begging, if Tinubu can beg him. And we still have some vibrant young uh, lawyers and son coming up. Then the law college, Tinubu should focus on it so that we can give vibrant accountants, lawyers, doctors, and everything. And all our doctors that have traveled abroad, they need to, we need to talk to them. And those ones that even stay with us again, who refuse to jack up, we should compensate them. And something terribly will still happen to Ngigi. And uh, Ngigi and uh, the information minister, Lai Mohamed, they are bad people to, 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 to call. You know, when they, the doctors, when they gave a sign that they wanted to go, Ngigi said, anybody who wants to go, they should go. Look at all those ones. Does all these people, did Ngigi fit to be a minister of the Federal Republic? No. But he has finished. The end has come now. Nothing has a beginning that we know because he behaved like the very evil man who was selling ammunition to say is everything. And you see what ended is everything. How is everything died? That's how the, the minister is going to die. Because we have a lot of rotting ministers in the cabinet of, uh, of, of Buhari. Even the justice ministers, all of them, they don't have the fear of God. Did he have? I thank God that the Kaba of, of oil, oil subsidy and everything, even though if Kaba did not work for one month, we have, we've been losing, we have been losing money for so long since all these days. We don't care. But we should get the, the, the track through this time around. And then they should wash out for uh, um, the refinery, the money monster just set up. We need to still focus on our, all our refineries needs to be refurbished. Because everybody should know where we have to go and buy fuel and everything. And approval should be given to modular refinery. We suffer a lot on the product of whom? Of Dangote. Cement, Idomi, everything. Dangote is a callous human being. You can't compare Dangote with what? With hotel dollar. We can't compare Dangote with uh, uh, the owner of Globe. He still gives his sentence. If Dan go to lunch any, in anywhere he went for lunching, as he's leaving the place, he's putting the money on his products. If you compare how they are buying cement in Cano 
Yola, Kutano, Ghana, his own product outside Nigeria. The one he's selling to the Yoruba people is more more expensive than that. And he don't he didn't pity he don't he don't have a woman feeling. You know what he was telling to rob you the other day? That this is the time for them to increase the price of sugar during the layer time, during the, the layer festival. Then how do the people benefit that this thing is from here? They should give license to everybody. They should give license. Even where he borrowed his money for his refinery, they gave him a long-term loan. So automatically, if he thinks he wanted to monopolize Nigeria, it's a, it's a joke. It's a lie. And all the people who have been governing Nigeria since independence to today as a head of state, with this refinery, he has failed. We should tell of Passenger he failed us. We should tell uh, Good Lord Jonathan that he failed in his, in his lifetime. And we should tell Buhari that he failed. If an entity, one person, can borrow money to bring something like this to Lagos, then you must know that uh, we should wash out because all the rich people who are enjoying from benefits, from the subsidy, they are the ones who foresee that a time is still coming when this uh, subsidy will be removed. And it has come. So where do we now run to? We go to Dangote to be sharing anything. Anything we put in Dangote, we will get it. Uh, something will be going to our account virtually all the time. We don't. I have joy that a, a Nigerian brought a gigantic refinery to West Africa, but I don't have another joy because I know the man is not a good person. So if you look at me clapping for him, I cannot clap. So that's it for the refinery. Because they are the ones that are in charge of our refinery sales. And all the people who are, we should make all the Niger Delta people to feel that they are, they are, they are, they are amiable Nigerians. All the bad waters and everything. Timothy should take care of them. Should take care of them. God will bless Topolo. God will bless uh, Dikimbo. God will bless all of them and under Nigeria. They have suffered enough. And when you look at NDC, how the, how the houses, the Fulani, did all the contract, this time around, they should sit down. And then for the one of Akwabio, we need to put charge light on Akwabio. Akwabio is a nice service man, yes. Nobody can push him put him right. But we should let him to know and learn a lesson from the query If he believes he's smarter, he's not as smart as the query And where's the query manual today? He's under lock and key. He's under what? Lock and key. How many rooms is he sleeping now? He will sleep in government quarter for 10 years in London. As what? As a prisoner. He will come back again, not as a Senate leader. He will come back as what? As as convicts. Then when you look at the man in in, in play to two, who said he wanted to be a live a live a live longer set, uh, senator, whom they gave the key of Nigeria to in the, when after the civil war, uh, Senator David Mack. You see what happened to him? He lost his first son. Nobody ever cheated Nigeria. Go to the house of uh, Shagari. You can't meet anybody there. And when you look at the demos democracy, who you, you know what he did to the family of Yadua? You know what he did to Abbas uh, to, to, to Abiola? How he stole their money in those days when they said they are doing a cheap bet or this thing. Um, what, uh, then again, how he used his stone to damage his, his boot for four billion. Which good Lord United voted to do the time they wanted to come. The United wanted to come back the second time. These are the things we need to sit down. And where is uh, Shubomi Balogun today? He's gone. And the people that has a new ticket now, oh, yeah, they could still have the ticket. It's not taken away from him. This year is dangerous for disgrace, for everything. Oh, yeah, they then this very year, then again, we should be very careful again. The other of the body is on the voice. He have, have his own body parts. Then Babangida has his own body parts. Then I want um, the man in Abba Futa too. Then Obasanjo he has his own body parts, and they are going to put them for class. We should be washed out. 
because five condolence letter is going to leave a part of the one of uh, uh, um, democracy. Another five will be signed before the end of November. And all those people who signed for Nigerian money, the Lord will pass through the land. And the Lord said, he will not give them sickness. He will take them away. Because he said, in the book of 2 Kings 7 and 8, the second in command said, all what they are saying will happen during Tinubu's regime cannot happen. We are going to give you a headache. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. Right from the one when he mentioned the subsidy that is dead. He has, he has won 50 out of 100 on the one on the, from the statement. And I know he will stand it. Because he said in that book, in the book of 2 Kings 7, from verse 4 to 10, he said you will see all these things with your eyes, but you will not eat out of it. But the man said, you are joking. And when it happened, he threw that on him. And when you look at the book of 2 Chronicles 18, 18, he said from 18 downward, when the king was arrogant. And when you look at the book of 2, 2 Samuel 10, 11, and 12, and 2 Samuel 18, then 2 Samuel 21, 21, from, betray from betrayers. And this is what happened. So we need to pray to God. What we need to do for the whole month of June and July is to thank God. Psalm 100. And when you wake up in the morning, Lick salt and pray. Lick honey and pray. Always use Psalm 1. Psalm 1. All the time. And when you want to go to bed, Isaiah 43. And for, for Tinumbu, every well wisher, everybody that has already that has, has married and raised children, every Friday, we should be fasting for Tinumbu for a whole year. And every, when we are fasting, we should be telling God, you are the one who is a good, you are the one who can pilot well. And you are the one that took the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Then we should be reading Exodus 14. 14. Exodus 14, all the time 14. And if anybody wants to do night vigil, you want to help Tinubu in prayer, we should be reading Psalm 109. And the family of Tinubu should be reading Psalm 109 every Saturday and every Tuesday. So that is what we need to tell the president. It's not president elected to be president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. And those people who said, Konisibu, Ibumawa, Mugwe, yes. When you look at First Chronicle 18, he said, I will raise, I will raise, I will put my lying tongue in the mouth of all these prophets. Mm. Then I will disgrace them. So they should go and learn. They should go and learn how to what? To fasten the belt and read the Bible and tell God to forgive them that they mislead, mislead their disciples. Even there are some prophet who said, month of April is going to be tough. That we should go and buy food, buy water, buy gari, buy sand, buy grand, granite and keep in the house. But nothing happened in May. God is the controller of time. Time shall talk, time shall tell, time shall reveal. All Nigerians, east, west, south, and north, which will remain calm. What we need now is prayer and appreciation. Even this next Sunday, I've killed cow, I've killed ram, I've killed goat on Monday to make everybody around my streets to eat, to dine and wine with me. And that was the reason why I left America. So they cannot install Oludu there for me not to be there. Mm -hmm. We are friends 20, 27, 28 years ago. We, we shook hands together 28 years ago when Agbala Jobi was still alive. Agbala Jobi, the, uh, the minister for Ralph Agbes, Agbes, and, and then Anthony Navarro, whenever they come to Tinobu's house. We met and when I was still praying for um, Agbala Jobi then. Agbala Jobi, Tinubu, Alaja, Agbala Jobi, all of them. These are good people. These are good people. So automatically, this meant this position. We need a lot of change in the port, in the, in the computer, in the port, 
the beholder, and we should keep our border tight. And then we should run away from anybody can die. Although they cannot be Kaba. Tinobu did not win in Kaduna. Tinobu did not win in Kano. Tinobu did not win in the in, in uh, Daura. So they only won the local government of the president for him. So nobody can just bring a note. Even that's not how you go to Buhari to collect, to solicit for anything. He will look at you. So he should rule well. I allow God to direct him. When you look at the book of Second, Second King 1 and 2, then Second King 9 and Second King 12, he says, is anybody left in the family of what? Benjamin. Uh, Jonathan. Then David now sent for uh, Ziba so that he can come and dine and wine to appreciate. But do you remember when, the, when he was pursuing in Samuel, was that Samuel 25? Was when he was pursuing, uh, when Saul was pursuing David, Jonathan told uh, David, don't be calm. Don't be, don't be too rough on the top of the stuff. One day, David, you'll still be a king. He made a prophecy. But when the prophecy came to pass, Benjamin was not alive. Then Tinubu, he must not take vengeance for anything. No, 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 no. Vengeance belongs to God. Now one, now two, or three. Those people are just, what they are for? Five, six, seven. Is that my people? Only well, made mistake because the the brain is not there. It should please. It should please. And then all the whole party, either PDP, APC, the labor, everything, you are their, you are their father now. So try to restructure the political class in Nigeria. Let there be dignity in labor this time around. And every state, they need to review the salary of soldiers. They need to review, review, um, review the salary of Air Force, all the, uh, the security personnel in the city. They need to. Because that's what we needed. That's what they should do. And that's what Tinubu should do. And then he has to emphatically the, the, the soldiers, there's this unity in their midst. Right from the time of uh, the longest uh, tabu, um, longest uh, army chief that was converted to, to that was sent to Benin as uh, ambassador, Burutai. Burutai should need, need to be brought back for trial. They need to try him. And many people, the chief justice and all the, the justice department too, need to what? And then they need to go back to CBN right from 2001 to date. They need to, all the president of uh, uh, CBN need to be what? Reviewed. And then they should not allow a new family to go scot free. If he goes scot free, he has only three years to stay under the service of the act. He should surrender all the, all the address, all the, all the accounts. You know the problem that facing when he was sent it out. He sent it. They're not supposed to have put him there. He's not smart. And all these recorded statements and everything, they should bring it out so you can see. He's the longest uh, CBN manager doing rubbish there, putting people to death by starving them with money before the election and after the election. So, Kemere Fele needs to be brought to, to book. And then the, the, the EFCC and then the DSS need to be restructured by disciplined soldiers. And all the retired officers, we the full and the houses, have been wrongly in Yoruba, Bini, Igbo, retired. Who can come and bring sanity to the, to the what? To the soldiers. Tinubu needs to go and talk to them and bring them back as a contractor to come and teach these people morale. You come and teach them morale and to teach them one, 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 one nation, one mind. And anybody who wanted to join Sweden, that, we should restore back history as one of the curriculum in what? In all our tertiary institutions. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what the law has revealed so, so far to the new president. As to your question, you ask me what advice. This, that is advice. You should listen very well. Although when he was a governor, he listened well to people. Even the wife knows how to listen. And they should wash out from the redeemed members. They need to be very, very careful. 
redeem is not the owner of Asura. We see all the blood that committed by the, the redeemed deputy, the vice president that was the redeemed pastors. He never know his left or right because he was a teacher of law and he didn't have good mind. And he's jealous of Tinubu and he wants everything to come to his pockets. So that's the problem. He should not give a ship of anything. A ship of does not deserve, even to me, Bakari does not deserve anything. Because the, to, Pune Bakari is a Shamelia. He has many, many clothes. And there's no amount of rain fall on a leopard. You should be very careful from people from the states. Mostly Abakuta. You be very careful. Or I didn't say you should not pick from them, but you have to go through the background check. The what they have achieved. We need many professors and retired teachers to come and give an advice. And the scholarship to all the students. Their father has taught so far enough. Since independent today, we turn out vibrant students for other for other country, other nations to enjoy. Now they should give us a, a neighbor playing ground for people who are tired abroad to come back home and enjoy good light, good road, everything, and eat organic thing before they die. God bless you.